Welcome to my video about the HS503G. Right now you can see a quick unboxing of the site and what it entails. So basically this site is gonna be broken down into two parts for the review. There's gonna be a short little review on the ACSS reticle and then the actual review of the site or preview because I haven't had a chance to use it that thoroughly yet. And then the actual preview of the site and its build quality. So this is basically just a little unboxing right now as you guys can see it comes in a cool little sort of matte semi-translucent box with holosun engraved on the top. It does look nice, it does feel nice, you guys can see at the top part of the lid has some nice foam and here is the manual for the site and then the manual for the ACSS reticle. This has the ACSS CQB reticle and now this is the actual site, you can see it has those nice little bikini covers on it to keep it safe. I am not sure if I'm going to run it with it on, but you know what, it's there, and, yes, and you guys can see it does come with two mounts, but I did not pull out the low mount that you could use on shotguns and etc. But this does look like a cool site, looks very well built, and now we can just go look at the reticle. So now we're going to talk about the ACSS CQB reticle for a little bit. So I'm just, I'm just going to flip through the pages of this pamphlet, and you guys can just sort of Pause the video, take a look at whatever you want to look at. Right now it's just basically going through the range, fight, range finding capabilities of this gun. Don't really know what they're doing with the vertical range finding because <laughs> 0 to 400 yards, what are they trying to do there? And on this back over here you guys can see what loads that this sight works with. Now I'm kind of questioning its accuracy because they put in 8 different loads for 8 different guns and I don't know how accurate that can be. But you guys can see it works with all the major calibers, 5.56, 308, 12 gauge, I don't know what that means, 12 gauge, 22 long rifle, that's also kind of iffy. And also the 300 blackout subsonic as well as 300 blackout supersonic. And now let's take a look at the actual reticle. As you guys can see right here, the horseshoe is nice and bright and you guys can see the BDC as well as that little chevron tip. Now we're just going to cycle through the brightness settings. On the manual there are claims that there are 12 settings and this looks like it's fairly true. This leads me to also believe that there are some night vision settings, which is pretty exciting as I am considering getting night vision. And now right here we're just going to see the sort of parallax, how it's tracking. The site claims to have one MO, at least one M maximum one MO away of parallax. So you know what, depending on how far you're going to shoot, you should always be on target. Now let's shift our focus away from the ACS reticle and to the actual construction of the site. Right now you guys can see a frontal view of the site and you can actually see the reticle from the front side of the gun. I don't think this is a big deal, but it's just something to note. Now, moving on away from this topic, we can see the turrets as well as the battery mounting system. Right now, I'm, I'm undoing the cap for the, the turrets to adjust the siding, MOA adjustments, and there's a pretty nice little o-ring. You can feel it when you're unscrewing it. The lid is also indented to help aid in the adjustment of the turret caps. You guys see that little slit on the cap and the slit on the actual turrets. I think a shell casing would also work for this, but it's nice to include that onto the lid. Now, as you guys can see, that was the battery. That was, the 20, that was a 2032 battery. Very common with scopes and very common overall. Also a nice big o-ring for the battery cap too. Now let's just turn the scope back on and you guys can see once again, there was that little red thing. And now let's mount the scope on a gun. As you guys can see, this is going on my Aero Precision 14.5 inch pin and welded upper. I took the 1 to 8 power off this gun and I put that on my SPR. So I had to get a replacement scope. Now let's talk about the specs and features of the Hollow Sun HS 503G. I'm only going to be highlighting the main features of this. If you want clear details, just go on, just pause the video and just read through the manual yourself. Right now, the most notable feature of this site is that long battery life. On here, it claims a 10,000 hour battery life, but I think many more pe many people have gotten much more than that in the field. But still, 10,000 hours of battery life, you're pretty much set for quite a while. And it goes over the little O-ring and how it seals it. This site mounts on, a, mounts on guns like any other site, but it also shares the same mounting base as the Aimpoint T1, Aimpoint H1. Is that T1 also, T2 also? So you know what, if you're trying to swap out this cheap little base that you already have, and you can buy a nice $70 American Defense mount if you're aiming for that extra security. Now it's also, the reticle has multiple settings. 
on this manual it claims to have a auto off, auto on option. I'm not too sure. I'm going to look into that and try to see how to manipulate it. I thought that was the only option on the solar panel models, but I guess we'll see. Now it just goes over some basic things about the site, what you should do, maintenance and care, but I don't think any of us really maintains our sites that well, unless you're using some expensive German glass. Now something that's cool about this gun is it does come with a limited lifetime warranty, but it does give quite a bit of discretion towards the manufacturer. It says that we'll replace the product if found to be defective under normal use and service, and I also think it also talks about what they determine, so they can just say, no, we don't want it. And that's about it. This is the Holosun HS503G with the ACSS CQB reticle. If you guys like this video, make sure you go down there, leave a like, comment, subscribe. If you dislike this video, go down there, leave a comment, and tell me why. See ya.